Welcome to an EdTech Team video tutorial. In this particular session, we're talking about sharing a document or any other type of file you have in Google Drive. When you come up to the blue button, the share blue button up at the top right of your document, you'll notice that the first screen allows you to be able to enter the name of the Google account of the person whom you'd like to share this um, particular document with. However, if you don't have their Google account information or if you don't want to have to enter the addresses but instead just want to be able to share this file via link, then you need to click on Advanced. And once you get to Advanced, you're going to change uh, the share settings right up here at the top where it says anyone who has a link can view. So you're going to click on Change and you'll notice that for a, a, a personal account, you have the following three options, Public on the Web, anyone with the link requiring you to give the person the link in order for them to, to access this document or you of course can leave it off so that it does require that you put in the actual google account of the person but if you do select any of the top two options uh public on the web that means that anyone on the web can actually find this document if they happen to actually look for a document that has a similar title as your document has and they won't be required to sign in so you need to be really careful as to whether or not you want to give this option. The other one is anyone with a link, meaning that if you share the link with people, they'll be able to click on that link and get to the document. Again, no sign in required. But in addition to those, those two options, you can certainly um, limit or have flexibility as far as what they can do with that document once they actually get to it. So they'll be able to either edit the document or maybe not edit, but only comment on the document or none of the above and only be able to view the actual document. So those are your three options for being able to share via the link itself and making it open to where people don't necessarily have to be invited by their Google account. I do want to point out that if you do share this document with people that are within your school domain, your school accounts, then they'll see slightly different options. So if you're in your school account and not on the personal side, you'll see that your options are anyone at and then your school with the link and then can edit, comment, or view. So you do have that additional option that you otherwise wouldn't have on a personal account. So now you know that there are different ways in which you can share a document even if you don't have that person's Google account or don't even want to share it via the Google account.